but for what scenario we used the switch condition we quest sir create update today create update delete so from farm okay so when we have in a farm okay we have three options okay so let's take a scenario now i, I will write the same scenario again okay so if it is group creation ticket it should go to service desk okay so let's get it here if okay create right task short description is okay uh, group request create create group request maybe something like this okay and followed by group name okay and assignment group is service desk okay and if it is same if it is update and delete okay update and delete okay if it is update so here update group request okay and the group name it is should go to application development team okay and if it is delete means delete is not like delete mode, okay inactive okay so there is no instead of delete we say retire okay retire action and it should go to some other team okay any team maybe we can take abc team okay but we will we will write later okay so this is the requirement mode. this is what we did with uh, we did with switch condition you all agree okay we took a switch here once we took a switch it gets you the three values of the three values of this particular variable okay these three will come and then we connected one 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 to these three okay something like this okay so here it is there and for create one task we created connected to that one update one task we created connected to that one delete we connected created one more and then attached to that okay we used switch yesterday right you all able to recollect it ma yes no sir yes okay now okay for that how many activities we used is we we used switch we used three more means four we used it <coughs> okay but now instead of four okay i will only configure everything here okay how i do is i will I will write script under catalog task okay see how I will write it it's very 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 simple okay so this script also we use very widely okay so where is the script my here advanced okay so how you read the variable from the palm current dot variables dot variable name right how you you read the variable of RATM current dot value right how you read the value of a task that this one will be creating okay task dot three important questions one is how you read a variable name okay current dot variables dot variable name how you read the RATM values current dot opened by current dot short description how you read the or you uh, control the values of the task that is generating from this activity is task dot short description is that clear my everyone yes no yes sir. Yeah. Okay, so now i will write a code just to see the code it's very simple code okay where okay tp equal to current dot variables dot okay request to type kada.
okay so request to type okay so we get the, we get the value that they will submit it based on that we need to create a task okay so now this is clear if it is created then one task okay if it is just like this okay also we want the group name okay either this one or that one okay maybe i will not pass the group name okay it will take another few seconds okay so what i do is okay if okay ty equal to i think it's create capital c create one second why i closed it I want the backend names. Okay, so create capital C. Okay, I, I given the same thing. Better I copy paste it because the value is now if you pass it, it will not work and then it is difficult to control it. Okay, if it is ty, then task dot short. The short description field under task is task dot short description. Okay, equal to create. Okay, group request. Okay, maybe if you want to print the okay uh, group name current dot variable start the group name that you are passing here now that you can pass it now. Okay, I am not writing here. Okay, so please excuse. Maybe we can see tomorrow if you want current dot uh, assignment group. <laughs> okay, the assignment group is the reference field. Okay, I need to pass. Uh, I need to pass what? This is ID. Give me one second. risk okay so I am passing two values okay they are required for my task and then same thing if it is create so every time we create only one task ma okay we will not be creating multiple tasks so the user will either select you either create either update either retire so based on that you will get a value based on that you will create only one one uh, task right so this is like application developer okay and else if else if okay else if we else also if only uh, if only if also works but maybe okay so <coughs> Let's write something here. Maybe a provision help desk. Third group is help desk. Okay, I list it right. Okay, and one more important thing. Okay, whenever you write some code, write some comments. Okay, this is a, uh, this is a best developer practices. Okay, so that when someone or opening it and then seeing it they will easily identify instead of going to group table and then okay. right so see my this code if you understand now i didn't do anything i am taking the variable name variable type if it is create the task that i am going to generate i am applying uh, the short description equal to this one and the assignment group equal to this one and if it is update the same thing if it is delete same thing okay so I'm writing this code in my task, create task. This code is fine, my everyone. Please confirm. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's submit a ticket now to test it. Okay, so this one is not required. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, three scenarios. One with create. 
just I'm not printing it anything okay so anyway whatever we pass it like group name and all it's not required but still if you can pass it ma create group request space group name okay that also you can do so this is for create this is for retire you can um, do from task to print it so this is for retire second thing and this is for update come on why didn't so retire is completed update So retire, retire also completed. So this is also done. This is also done. Now see those three tasks that we created should have different different groups based on the type that we selected. Okay. So this first one is create, right? So task created. Maybe you can see from here also. Okay, this is anyway been, we've seen it so many times. So the same task is creating. Okay. This task in these two also the same task will be available, but here as we selected group type equal to create okay the task script when task script runs it checks the value where value okay and then it gets uh, first value validated true then short description equal to create group request okay uh, task assignment group equal to service desk the service desk group CCID we passed here okay, let me open it Right, so come, 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 come. Okay, so if you see this code, this is the code it ran. So as we selected if, so this is run. And based on the values that we are giving, task.short description, task.assignment group, these two came. Okay, this is successful. Everyone agree? Please confirm. Ma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now the second one is we took it as retire I think okay retire retire for retire okay retire is the third one so we we used a help desk okay we used a retire group request okay so this this particular script ran okay and the third one maybe update we selected okay so for update the group is development group second group and the task short description also update group request so this one ran okay so see how simple it become now earlier the same scenario we implemented we took one switch we took uh, those three activities separately we connected we defined everything but now using the six seven simple code lines of code okay we are con we are controlling completely the task behavior right only thing what we need is what we need here is how we need to read the variable values okay how we need to pass the values to the task that it is going to create it and in case if you want to do something using RATM values you can still guard them with okay, current dot current dot RATM values also will get it if you want to get some values from RATM that also you can pass it okay so these three current dot value current dot uh, the field name of RATM values task dot the field name for catalog task value or a task value and the current dot variable start variable name we didn't use it now we used it so these three are very important in catalog task a cat not only catalog task workflow okay in workflow scripting in order to control the things if conditions task things okay all the stuff we use these three structures three three things plus if you want to do some server side activities like creating records updating records and all Okay, we use server side script also. Okay, that is glide record one. So that's it. Those these are the basic things we do in server side like, like workflow level. Okay, ma, that's where we use script in, in this one. This is very simple, but please practice it. We I'm this particular kind of script now, the task script which I written and the workflow script that we also will see tomorrow. The uh, nowadays it is very common in workflows basic things okay so just to practice it don't only see the same thing maybe you can copy it also okay but practice this part 
this is advanced one but it is very 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 important one okay this is for more practical than question and questions are like what we are covering right now ma all good any questions ma please